when I start seeing adult onset attention deficit in men, and especially with busy brain, there's a little anxiety, insomnia, I check total and free testosterone levels, total and free testosterone levels, DHEA. You can check that in women. Women have testosterone. We have DHEA. I'm more concerned about thyroid is the main function. Now, if a thyroid is okay in women, that's when I start looking at sex hormones in women. I always, as a part of this history, even when I was practicing traditional neurology, but especially in integrative medicine, I want you to be aware of your menstrual health. You need to know a few things. Like, do you remember what age you were when you have your period? Are your periods regular? How many days before the start of every period? Thank goodness for those apps and those trackers if you use them. Do you have a history of PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome? Before we label something pre-menopause or early menopause, I want to look at thyroid. I want to look at um, PCOS and other things going on with hormones for women. Most of the time when women are being told in their 30s and 40s, it could be early menopause, we've missed thyroid. And what can be causing adult onset ADD in men and women? The last thing to do with hormones is estrogen excess. 